we're going to look at some of the numbers that we saw from exit polling, where people fell and where people landed, and then we're going to give you kind of an overall number here. Let's just take a look at some of these. Women overall. Clinton won women by 13. Biden won women by 15. Harris won women by 10. Women by 10. Black men, she fell off slightly. Biden won black men by 60. Harris won them by 58. Black women, she ticked up in her support. Biden won black women by 81. Harris won them by 85. Here's a huge difference maker right here. Latino men. Clinton won Latino men by 31 points. Biden won them by 23 points. Trump won them by 10. Latino women. Clinton won Latina women by 44 points. Biden by 39. Harris by 24. Trump lost some support with white men and with white women. Trump won white, uh, white men by 23 points last time around, only by 20 points this time around. He won white women by 11 points last time around. He won them by five this time around. I believe the white women statistic is that uh, 82%, I think it is, and I have to double check that number, voted for Trump. No, sorry, 52%. My apologies. My apologies. That's an incorrect number. He, he lost support among white folks, but he gained support among Latinos. Make that one make sense. Voters with a co- white voters with a college degree, Biden won by three. Harris improved on that, won by 10. White voters with no degree, Trump won by 35 the last time around. He lost some support. He won by 31. Voters of color with a college degree, Clinton won this demographic by 50. Biden by 43. Harris, 35. Voters of color with no degree, Clinton won by 56. Biden by 46. Harris by 32. White women with a college degree, Harris made incredible gains. Clinton won that demographic by seven, Biden by nine, Harris won them by 20. White women with no degree stayed pretty much the same. 27 for Trump in 16, 27 for Trump in 2020, 25 for Trump in 2024. White men with a college degree, Trump has eroded his support in that uh, demographic. He won that demographic in 2016 by 14. That number slipped to three in 2020. Harris won white men with a college degree by a point. And white men with no degree, his support has been slipping, but he still won handily. Trump won white men with no degree by 48 points in 2016. That slipped to 42 points in 2020. It's down to 38 in 2024. 18 to 29-year-olds. Clinton won them by tw- uh, 19, Biden by 24, Harris only carried them by 13. 30 to 44-year-olds. You can see the uh, support eroding there. Clinton by 10, Biden by 6, Harris by 5. 45 to 64-year-olds. Trump is back up to his 2016 uh, numbers, plus 8. And shockingly, the 65 or older group Trump won by seven in 2016. That number uh, slipped to five in 2020. Harris won 65 and older by a point. Now, let's talk about uh, geography. Rural voters. Trump won by 27 points in 2016. That slipped to 15 points in 2020, and he got it back up to 27 points in 2024. Suburban voters. This is where the swing takes place. Trump won suburban voters in 2016 by four. Biden won them by two. Trump took them this year by two. And the urban vote pretty much stays the same uh, consistently. A few points here or there. Harris wins by 23 with urban voters. Now on to the economy. Of the people who think that the economy was excellent or good at the time that they were voting... Clinton won that demographic by 59 in 2016. 
Huge swing in 2020. Trump takes that demographic by 56. This year, Harris takes that demographic by 83 points. However, among the people who feel that the economy <clears throat> was poor at the time of their uh, casting a vote, Trump won that by 31 in 2016. Biden swung that huge in his favor in 2020, winning it by 63. Trump wins that demographic by 40 in this race. People who report about their family's personal income. Among the people who feel like they were better now than they were four years ago, Harris won that demographic by 70, a whopping 70. However, among the people who feel we are worse than four years ago, Trump won them by 63. Among the people who feel abortion should be legal in all cases, she wins by 78 points. Legal in most cases, her uh, support from Biden's 38 in 2020 has eroded to plus four in 2024. Illegal in most cases, Trump takes that by 83. Harris wins the liberal vote by 84, the moderate vote by 19, and Trump wins the conservative vote by 80. That moderate vote, you can see, Clinton won by 12, Biden won by 30, and it slipped back down to 19 for Harris. But the big number is turnout. It's actual raw votes. How many votes did this person get? How many votes did that person get? Me meaning how many people turned out to vote? And the bottom line to this election is people didn't turn out to vote. He is sitting with 71 million plus raw votes, while she is sitting just below 67 million raw votes. That is an indication that people did not show up to vote. Period. And when you don't show up to vote, this is the shit that happens. Now, there are people that are going to complain that... Uh, it's third-party vote. People are voting for third party. No, no. All of the third-party candidates together got 2 million votes. She has a 15 million vote deficit from what Biden pulled in 2020. People did not show up to vote. Now, I don't know if that's because people heard some people saying, well, this is a landslide, this is locked in, she's going to win this thing, and they thought it was in the bag. I don't know if that's because people don't like her. I don't know if it's because this country isn't ready for a woman president. Or I don't know if it's because people were just so fucking exhausted. They're like, I'm done with all of it. I'm not going to fucking bother. But people didn't show up to vote. You don't get to blame third party candidates. You don't get to say that, uh, that uh, she didn't campaign hard. She clearly did. She didn't visit the state she needed to. She clearly did. People didn't show up to vote. 15 million fewer people showed up to vote than the last time around. And so, now you have a conservative government. Now you have a conservative government that is going to enact what they want for the next two years. Election's over. Nothing we can do about it now. Bet your motherfuckers are going to show up next time, aren't you?